Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video here to give you yet another 2020 movie thoughts for y'all. This is on a Netflix film. Um, and I'm not even sure I should be doing this. If you guys are like are actually interested in like watching this film and all that, um, uh, you're better off watching someone else's review of this, y'all. Um, cause your boy is about to do. His thoughts for the 2020 Netflix comedy horror film, Vampires vs. the Bronx. Now, what Vampires vs. the Bronx is about, pretty self-explanatory title, I reckon. Um, like, that's it. Just like, you know, vampires, um, um, you know, they're in the Bronx, in New York, of course, and all that. Uh, so what did your boy think of Vampires vs. the Bronx? Honestly, I don't even think because I was really tired when I kind of, when I was watching this or anything, um, like, for real. But honestly, like, uh, I wasn't enjoying this film at all, man. Like, I, I was really tired when I watched it, because I had been awake all night, and I really, I just have no interest in, like, actually finishing this film, honestly, like, I don't know, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't into this movie at all, like, for real, like, not one bit, there's, there's, on, there's only one scene that I liked, that was when, uh, you saw, like, footage from the movie Blade, 1998 with Wesley Snipes, that was really cool, that's it, that was cool, and, I don't know, just the movie wasn't really grabbing me, and then I fell asleep, and then the movie had long finished, and I don't, I didn't like it, man, I just, just based on that, really, like, honestly, just, sorry, not for me, I, I, you know, I since I had since I had invested some time into this, I'm like, you know what? I want to get a movie thoughts on this up. Okay, that's really how I think. Um, I'll say this though: pretty surprising cast. I figured that, you know, to be fair, like I figured like since this is a Netflix film, it would have like a bunch of like like actors that you wouldn't expect in this. Like, She Wingham is in this. Um, he was on Death Note. And, uh, Bad Times at the El Royale. Um, and Method Man's in this. I love my boy Method Man. And freaking Zoe Saldana's in this. Like, that was a surprise, man. Like, but honestly, I didn't like this film really at all. I mean, yeah, I, I like that scene where that one little clip of them watching Blade was cool, but that's it. Honestly, I have no interest in actually finishing and watching this film. Plus, your boy wants to get this film up before midnight, and I fell asleep, bef like, long before the film was over, and I just, I'm just, I just have no interest in this man, like, for real, if you guys have seen this and liked it, you know, I'm, that good for you, y'all, but, yeah, I, I don't want to invest any more time in this, honestly, so tired, and I just thought the movie was, I, I just didn't like what I was seeing at all, honestly. Just my honesty. And yeah. Anyway, that's your boys' thoughts on Vampires vs. the Bronx. Like I said, not the most reliable, not really a reliable review at all. Movie thoughts, you know, but, you know, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed this anyway. I just, I, I just woke up, man. I, I, I really did. And I just, I fell asleep, not because, I wasn't enjoying the movie, even though I wasn't, but I was so tired, and yeah, anyway, that's your boy's thoughts on, um, Vampires vs. the Bronx, uh, and yeah, if you guys have seen this film, let me know what you think, and if, hopefully you enjoyed your boy's thoughts still, and yeah, I'll see y'all later, peace out.